Good morning from the Monty and the Beanie. Um, Bandit, I don't know why you guys got into a fight yesterday when you guys were like best buds laying on each- Like this is basically a doggy bunk bed at this point, right? Why were you guys fighting yesterday when you obviously love each other? Okay. Uh, I hope you're not hurting each other. Although they're kind of like, they can be a pain. They're also very cute. And then I can see this spot on the lens right here. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out what that is. That's so weird. It's like I have two orbs in my shot at all times. Scary stuff, guys. And today I am going to make a facial scrub. It's lemon, honey, and sugar facial scrub and it's supposed to make your skin look brand new and wonderful glowy glorious skin so I kind of want that with this cold weather I think I need this so I'm gonna make that real quick and I'm gonna put it in here that way I have it to use throughout the week let's get started this is everything you're gonna need you're gonna need an, a lemon actually it's called for the juice of half a lemon but this lemon is very small so I think I'm gonna use all the juice from this lemon also calls for a tablespoon of olive oil a tablespoon of local honey although this is honey that somebody did mail to us in the PO box and then a half a cup of sugar so I'll whisk all of that together and I'm gonna get my wonderful scrub that I'm gonna use after my shower I'm very excited okay I've mixed it all together and this is the consistency that you should have if you're making this I think this should probably last for maybe two weeks it's it's kind of a lot and now we were on to the cooking segment of the show we're gonna make some cottage pie we were sent this in the p.o box and i'm super excited to make this because it looks so good i can't wait we kind of already make this and it's called shepherd's pie i don't know what the difference is i don't know i'm excited to eat it so i've got all my stuff kind of already here i diced up a small white onion I cut up three carrots. This is actually not part of the ingredients, but I'm gonna add some diced mushrooms that I just, I have on hand and I don't want them to go bad, so I'm gonna add them in. And I think it'll be pretty complimentary to this other stuff that's in it. Oh, also a pound and a half of minced beef, which I guess is ground beef, I think is the same thing. So I've got that. And then I am also going to add in maybe a third of this can of corn because this is another thing I have on hand. And when I make shepherd's pie, I put corn in it, so. I don't know, I think it should be pretty good. Hopefully I'm I'm not messing this recipe up, but I'm excited. Oh, and I've already made my mashed potatoes from Red Bliss Potatoes this morning. So I've got those ready and waiting because they're gonna go on top of my pie. And now it is time to get started making the dinner. Okay, I got all my stuff here that I need. Those are just some extraneous produce that are mingling over here, onion and a lemon. Um, I'm gonna start cooking the meat and I'm gonna add the onion into the meat as I'm cooking and then we're gonna add the other stuff in. I've browned my ground beef and small onion and now I'm gonna add the seasoning mix to 300 milliliters of water. I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna add that to the beef. It looks kind of like very thin gravy. So I'm gonna add that to my meat. Get all the spices out of there. So now, it is time to add the carrots that I've diced. Oh lordy. <laughs> I did add a few other things to this mix because my meat, it was supposed to be a pound and a half of ground beef and I didn't have a pound and a half ground beef. I was like short. So I'm gonna also add some mushrooms and I think it's gonna taste really good with this mixture. And also I'm gonna add some corn and I know that I was not supposed to add peas. It called for peas and I was told no peas, but I am gonna add this corn because I have so much of it. And I hope that doesn't upset you, <laughs> but I think it should be very delicious. I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna cook it for a little bit and then we're gonna bake it with the mashed potatoes. So good. So I've added everything in. It's been cooking. I brought it to a boil. I'm stirring it continuously. It's in the dish and now I'm gonna top it with my mashed potatoes and then we're gonna bake it for like 30 minutes. Should be pretty delicious. I'm baking it at like three, 95 I think it was. Okay, I took all my potatoes that I mashed up early this morning and I put them on top of my cottage pie and that's what it looks like. So I do have extra potatoes in case we need more, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven as is. And I am so excited to eat this in 30 minutes. So I put the stuff in the oven and I was just thinking I was gonna check the mail and I found this, ghost pepper wings at Popeyes? Whoa, that is so crazy. A dash of exotic ghost pepper. Wow, might have to try that. And dinner is done. It looks like my, I kind of like spooned potato balls on top of this because I did fresh made mashed potatoes rather than like a box mix. And they seem to have dropped into the cottage pie mixture here. So I think my potato balls have dropped. 
That may happen to you. I don't really know if that's a normal thing or not. Uh, but then I also made a side salad, but uh, I haven't put the dressing on yet because Tim's not going to be home for a few more minutes and I don't want all of my greens to get wilted. That's dinner. Side salad, cottage pie. I do have some extra mashed potatoes just in case we need more and we're all good. I'm home now and this is some cottage pie. That looks awesome. I can't wait to eat all this. Howdy doody everybody. That was a delicious meal type thing. So that was called cottage pie. Very similar to shepherd's pie and a little bit along the lines of chicken pot pie, but each one has its little variation. You know what I mean? Here's the issue. We're on a diet. So the cottage pie that Jen made was four portions, like feeds four people. I ate one quarter of it and I am still darn hungry because we're on a diet. Uh, gotta keep to my guns. New year, new me, whatever, you know. Was that thunder? No, it's a plane. Okay. There's, I just, like, I'm so hungry right now. I'm just going to complain. Like, and I know there's like candy around. There's all kinds of stuff, but I'm just going to, you know, eat my portion. We had a salad too, and it was delicious. Everything was delicious. Still hungry. Oh, tonight we're going to watch uh, Cinderella, because that's what we're on now. Cinderella, Cinderella. Like a first real Disney movie. I mean, oh, Bambi was a real movie, but like, this is like, we're getting into our like wheelhouse now where we're like getting into movies that are like, yeah, that's a Disney movie and that's a Disney movie. Just wait till we get to like Lion King and stuff like that. It's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, Cinderella. We'll see how it is. The only song that makes this movie worth watching. I mean, I guess this one's okay too. So when's the last time that you guys watched Cinderella? Because the Minions from Despicable Me are a direct ripoff of these mice. Like, they talk exactly like them. That was a fun movie, like, you know, Cinderella, but here's my biggest question is, right? So, her shoe falls off, they find it, and they're like, Oh, I'm in love with this girl, we have to find the girl who fits into this slipper, and that'll be my true love. So they go around all over the town, like, trying on slippers with everybody, and then finally they try it on Cinderella, and they're like, this is it! But, why are you using a slipper that falls off as a unit of measurement for something that fits something? Like, I'm gonna use this slipper that fell off, so it obviously doesn't fit, to see if I can find who it fits. But it didn't fit her. But it does fit her. We just found this show on Netflix called Final 24. It follows the last 24 hours of somebody famous that died, if they died in like a mysterious or tragic way. We're gonna watch the first one, it's about Sid Vicious. Look at that, there he is, look at his face. Let me get a better look at it. Oh, there he is. The reason why Sid Vicious's death is mysterious is because he's suspected of uh, killing Nancy before he died. His lover was Nancy. I don't remember what her last name was. Nancy. Sid and Nancy. Well, it's an interesting show. It's not like the, the greatest show ever, but it's not, it's not bad. It's interesting to see what they were doing the day that they died. We watched Sid Vicious, we're watching a little bit of Jim Belushi. I mean, it's all right. They kind of jump back and forth between what they were doing that night and what they did, like how they got famous and who they are and like where they grew up and all this other stuff. Like what led to them, you know, in the case of Sid Vicious, they're like, what led him to heroin? Like how did he overdose and where did he get it and all this other stuff, fun stuff like that. So I don't know, but I'm gonna go to bed because I'm very tired, I fell asleep on the couch. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price.